spy cam it is. You might have seen those James Bond movies where he has spy camera in his ring, in his watch, uh, God knows where. Well, he is Agent 007. And you guys, you seem to love gadgets. So while we were on Amazon, these weird spy cams caught our attention. And the first reaction was like, it's scary. So I want to find out how these spy cameras work, how to detect them and how you can secure your own surroundings. The only way to find out is by buying all of them. So let's head over to Amazon and shop some spy cameras. Straight up, you have the most cliched spy camera ever, spy camera inside a pen. Like since childhood, I've always wanted to use a pen spy camera and I think it's about time wishes come true. Add to cart. Well, this one's really bad. Like you have a spy camera inside a smartphone charger. And funny thing is, it's so well masked up that you can't even see it. And it records in full HD, 1080p, color video, add to cart. This thing's really bad. Like, you have a spy camera inside a bulb. And that too, it's an IP camera. Should give you live feed. Wow. Add to cart. What is this? You have a spy camera inside a car keychain. Dude, I've started to doubt the society now. This records at 720p. It's battery powered, so I think it records locally at two cart. I remember there was a spy cam inside a wire camera. Yes, this one. This isn't more of a spy cam, but it is more of a USB camera, which has utility where you want to search things. Nonetheless, it is interesting. Let's add to cart. It would be amazing to check that out. Oh, look at this one. Spy Nanny Cam Wireless Wi-Fi IP Hidden DIY Digital Video Camera Mini Micro T. <laughs> this happens when you don't study anything and just study SEO. Stuff everything. So it, 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 there seems to be a Wi-Fi signal. So it has a Wi-Fi module. So it is more of a remote viewing. So it doesn't need to have a SD card to record into it. But it looks kind of interesting. Add to cart. Okay. It's a neck camera, but this more of looks like that mic you have in conferences where people speak. But why would someone need this? Where would they use it? To spy on their own family? <laughs> why are people so suspicious? So yeah, order placed. I feel excited and freaked out at the same time to see so many spy cameras, but it's gonna be a fun video. And I'll get back to you when... Oh, by the way, this is Vadik. You're already watching TechWiser. Let's go. So the spy cameras have arrived and I'm excited, aren't you? Let's get to them one by one. So the first one is this classic pen camera. You would have seen this pen spy camera in pretty much every sting operation. The recent Cobra post one, Aaj Tak, India TV. Everyone has done sting operation with this. We are off to a great start. What if this happens while you are actually doing a sting operation? Now, as you can uh, see, there's a pinhole camera right over here. It can record up to 480p and you can hook up a SD card right over here. You can charge it via micro USB B. I have seen this port in a very long time. And how do you record through this spy camera? Well, we have paperwork. So it seems like quite a process. First, you have to short press the button. Green light will be stable, device on and then if you press it once, it records a photo. And then you press the same button for three seconds and it will switch off. Now I want to record video. Press the same button for three seconds. Why is this recording process so difficult? Like, do you have to be a spy in order to start recording from a spy camera? I guess it's recording. Hi, this is Pradeep from techwise.com and a quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. So yeah, as you can see, the video isn't that great. Of course, it's 480p, it's nowhere close to your smartphone. But this is for situations where you are in a tense scenario and you can at least record the face of the person. And the mic quality is also not that great. You just have to be like really close to the pen camera to be audible and scream at it. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. 
so moving on this is the one i'm really excited about like i don't know whether it's a spy cam or not people are always creative like the memes unlike other spy cameras which directly record to sd card this one sends you live footage on your phone or laptop obviously via the usb has a very very long cable so you can put up the camera at one place and still hook it to your laptop or phone damn it's big and this thing has a usb port right over here which you can flip and convert to micro usb but no one has a micro usb port so you can use it with an otg and this is really cool the camera has LEDs on top of it so if you put it through the basin or at dark places the LEDs can light up the place there are three levels you can go low medium and high and they even provide these hooks so you can even pull stuff from below the furniture and dark places you also get this magnetic one which can which just sticks to keys so suppose let me show you a real demo so i just pushed my keys under this huge heavy almira and if you see i can see the feed on my smartphone and i'm trying to figure out the key so sorry it's so gross and there's the key there you go i got it let's go so next up we have this one oh my god this is a car key chain and never in your life you would suspect that this has a spy camera inside it like if you place it in a plain side you would think it is a car key chain but it has a camera over here and here you can insert the sd card and once you insert the sd card then you can figure out that it is something fishy so that catches your eye and you have to long press the on off button to power on the camera there's a yellow light over here and long press the shutter button and the yellow light blinks thrice so it starts recording and it charges via micro usb b so yes this is similar to the pen camera but instead it's in a car key chain and not much to talk about it well let's finish the smaller ones first oh my god See, the thing with the previous spy cameras is this car keychain and this pen spy cam, they have a battery inside it so they can record only up to a limit. The wire camera that has to be hooked up to a phone or a laptop to start recording. But this USB charger, this can record for infinite number of duration and plus you wouldn't even consider that this is a spy cam if it is there in your plain sight. Like there's a charger in the socket. Why would you think it's a spy cam? This is so sneaky, so evil. And if you remove the lid, you can see there's the camera. You can put in a USB to connect through your laptop. You have the SD card slot. So it records in two modes, infinite recording and motion tracking based recording. Now, if I wave my hand, it should start recording. So Prateek from the future, the footage didn't record and this thing stopped working so we are all safe back to the video by the way if you're wondering it can even charge your phone at 5 watt but i would never ever think this is a spy camera so a spy camera inside a bulb i'm so done at this point a little longer than a few minutes later there's a spy camera inside a bulb this scares the hell out of me this could be in a changing room hotel or possibly any public place now the thing with these type of spy cam is you can put up a towel over it or just cover it but a normal bulb cannot cover it because it's on the ceiling or somewhere unreachable place if you think it can't record at night well this has night vision and this works like a normal smart bulb you power it on and they have an android as well as ios app so this connects to the wi-fi and you can see real-time footage and it also has an sd card slot so that way it also records locally and the only good thing about this spy camera is like apart from being sneaky it also records a good footage quality the footage is 360 degree so you can zoom into any part of the house and it covers the entire house from any angle and of course you get five star for 100 rupees cashback a regular day in an amazon product unboxing so next up we have the both diy and neck camera let's get on to them one by one always appreciate a nice pouch with these cameras oh look it's so tiny in the image it looks big but this is so tiny 
Now this neck camera can be directly powered on through the wall socket or you can hook it to a power bank. And there's your secret SD card slot. On the neck camera is quite flexible. And see, it looks like a microphone, I told you. It looks like a microphone. No surprises, it works via the same exact app as the bulb. So you know, same vendor. So the whole purpose is you hide this camera at some sneaky place within plants or something like that and then have a look at all the conversations. Surprisingly, the footage quality of this neck camera is pretty good, like better than everything else. Okay, this one is really dope. You have the camera tied by a ribbon to this Wi-Fi module. There's some space for SD card right over here. And then right here is the battery. I I think it's lithium ion and you get this 2 pin GST connector. Mostly you would have seen these types of connector inside your PC motherboard or Raspberry Pi. Any Raspberry Pi users? Okay, even this DIY cam has an app. After the configuration, you can see the footage over here. And this is so versatile, you can attach and hook it up to almost anything. Like you can put it inside this box, punch a hole and this whole setup looks a lot familiar. Oh, punch hole camera. So leaving the wire camera, everything else is just so evil and sneaky. The wire camera is a useful utility if you are that curious person and love to try new handy stuff. The wire camera is fun. And rest of all these bulb, keychain, charger, pen, they work. And you wouldn't even know if they have a camera inside them. By the way, most importantly, how do you detect such camera in public places? Well, you can use the Fing app to detect Wi-Fi camera like these. Like here, if you see, it shows an IP camera for the TP-Link. And it can also detect the bulb camera. It works on Wi-Fi. But these, these kind of spy cameras that record locally, they won't be visible on Fing or any other Wi-Fi scanning app. And there are ways to detect spy cameras by making the room dark, putting on a flashlight. Those do work. Camera lenses do reflect light, but if you are in a huge place, how will you know where the camera is? Or even a hotel, where would you search? Or if you are in a changing room, how would you turn off the entire light? It's more or less hit and miss or gimmicky. All you can do is be aware. Search for drawers, wires, open connection, toys. Those are shady stuff. So I hope you guys stay wiser. This is Pratik, tech wiser. Like and share the video. See ya pretty soon.